Did you know that in the U.S., more than 2.8 million antimicrobial resistant infections occur each year? Overuse, incorrect prescriptions, and inaccurate dosage are some of the causes of the growing resistance to antibiotics, which can lead to catastrophic consequences such as multi-drug resistance in MRSA and can be life-threatening and a major source of hospital-acquired infections. Bacteriophages, viruses that infect and kill bacterial hosts, offer an alternative treatment to bacterial infections. They have the potential to be used as a replacement for antibiotics, eliminating the dangers of resistance. Bacteriophages, unlike antibiotics, do not impact the flora of local bacteria and are too specific for bacteria to develop resistance to. In addition, their growth is naturally limited by the number of hosts. Therefore, there will always be just enough to stop the bacterial infection. Additionally, they offer a chemical-free alternative to the traditional treatments of acne, such as salicylic acid or benzoyl peroxide. In our experiment, we tested bacteriophages as a treatment for acne. Acne is caused by C. acne, a bacteria which blocks pores in the skin and causes inflammation. First, we isolated C. acne from facial areas, then exposed it to UV to trigger the lytic cycle of any phages which were latent in the hosts. We observed several plaques from which we collected phages. Plates with C. acne colonies were placed in incubators under anaerobic conditions to produce a bacterial lawn from which four phages were collected after exposure to UV. Later, UV was used again for mutagenesis to create random mutations in the four collected phages. Each phage mutant was tested for virulence against the host. The results revealed that three of the four phages yielded large plaques with ranges of virulence. While type phage 4, exposed to 60 seconds of UV light, proved to be the most virulent with the highest frequency of plaques. We have established that it is possible to isolate phages from acne-causing bacteria and increase their virulence by random mutagenesis. Virulence can further be improved by controlling which genes to mutate instead of relying on random processes. Enhancing genes associated with the lytic cycle or eliminating genes associated with the lysogenic cycle may be optimal. Although phage therapy is promising, there remain some challenges in using bacteriophages for the treatment of bacterial infections. For one, bacteria with latent phages are immune to subsequent infection. Many phages have developed a mechanism to alter the bacterial genotype, preventing superinfection. These processes are not yet well understood, and more research is needed to come up with an effective solution. Another challenge in using bacteriophages for acne is developing a delivery and buffer system that maintains phage integrity, mobility, and virulence. A cream with appropriate components will need to be developed and tested. Next experiments should focus on making specific well-controlled mutations. Perhaps utilization of CRISPR after identification of genes associated with the lytic and lysogenic processes will prove to be the most successful. Bacteriophage treatments have a strong potential to be effective, not toxic, and easy to use. As shown in our experiments, bacteriophages also have a strong potential and are applicable for the treatment of acne.